could begin tonight at restaurants and bars across northeastern and central Pennsylvania. They are fighting shortages of all kinds, but one product in particular is struggling to keep up with demand throughout the state, and that product is beer. Newswatch 16's Claire Alfrey spoke with a restaurant owner in Schuylkill County. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you. The renovations at Vito's Coal Fired in St. Clair are almost complete, but now owner Vito Valenti will have to wait until September to have everything he ordered. And it's not just new plates and decorations. He says he's finding it difficult to get essential products on their drink menu. We went through where we couldn't get certain beers. We went through where we couldn't buy certain bourbons and certain, al a certain alcohol for a while. Luckily, we're in Pottsville, so Mr. Dick Yingling always made sure we had Yingling beer. While their specialty is coal-fired pizza, the drinks served at Vito's Coal Fired play a large role in their success over the past 12 years. Your alcohol drinks will be one of more, your, your more profitable things you could do, so it, it hurts you when, when you're not able to get a certain product. And Valenti says this is an issue that goes beyond Schuylkill County. Restaurants and bars across Pennsylvania are dealing with the same thing. If someone is ordering, I'll just say a Miller Lite, and for and it's like, well, we're normally we might get two, three barrels of it a week, but now we're only can get one barrel of it, so and then we run out, so we, we just have to let them know that's the case. It's not it's nothing on our end, but there's nothing we can do about it. He says suppliers aren't able to give him or other restaurants a definite answer on why there's a beer shortage. They just said they're all behind, so I don't know if they can ramp up production to really get get things out on a national scale. That's what I'm mostly hearing. Despite the shortages, Valenti says they will do what they can to properly cater to customers. Claire Alfred, Newswatch 16, Schuylkill County.